Hi, my name's Alex. I'm one of the product training managers for Sony Ericsson. And today I'm going to show you the Facebook 2 application on the Sony Ericsson iNo handset. To get started on Facebook 2, you go into the main menu and down to Organizer, where you'll find you've got the Applications box. Inside there, you'll see a list of all the applications that are available on iNo, the most important one being Facebook. When you go into Facebook, it'll then connect online. The first time round it'll ask for a username and password, in this case I've already entered mine. Straight away it'll bring up the news panel which has got everyone's latest status updates and anything else that's happening in the world of your Facebook. Then when you tab right, it'll then go along to your wall so any comments made on your wall, anything posted will then be displayed. Again you can scroll up and down through all of these options, through any Facebook updates that you've put on yourself and at any point you can also update your own state put. Next part is your friends, so this will list all of your friends on your Facebook profile and on your friends list and when it lists all of them you'll also have the option of being able to call them straight from Facebook so any of your contacts that have the little green mobile phone all you have to do is highlight them and then press the call button their mobile number will come up and then after that you can dial them straight out of the application the next tab along is any of your photographs, so this will have your mobile uploads and it will also have any albums that you've created while you've been online using a PC or a Mac. The next tab along is notifications, so this is if you've been invited to any events, asked to be a friend or anything like that on the application. And then the next one along is your inbox, so this is where you've had any private direct mails from any of your friends, they'll then come up in this part here. Now the great thing about the Facebook 2 application is when you exit out of the application all the way back to the home screen you'll see that the icon here has been replaced and it now displays Facebook and then what you'll start to see is all of the status updates of your friends recently come across the middle here. When you press the top left soft key it'll then highlight all of this so you can then scroll through this yourself you can also push up to see your last status update and push down and this will then list any notifications that you've also got as well. So in this situation I've got a couple of messages I've also been invited to a couple of events and I can check all of these. The great thing about the status updates as well is you can actually post a comment straight from the standby screen so that's the comment there and then you can write your own comment or you can just simply click in the top left corner to say that you like the post. Not only that, while the Facebook application is on the handset, whether the application is running or not, anytime you take a photograph, you can post it straight onto Facebook. To do that, you can go into your media, then into your photographs. You can either go onto Facebook from there, or bring up your latest photograph and then have a look through them all to decide which one you'd like to post online. Once you've selected it, you press options and then send. Inside send you'll see send to Facebook. This will then display the picture and give you the option of adding a title to it as well. Once you've finished that you then click upload. When it's finished, it'll take you back to the media screen where that image is and then all you do is come back out You can then go back into your Facebook by highlight highlighting it and then in your menu, go to the home page and scroll across to your photographs Inside there, you can have a look through and you'll now see mobile uploads have been added to it.
and there's the image that I've just uploaded. You can then comment on your own image or come straight back out. Any image you then upload using this handset will be put into mobile uploads folder. When you hit back, it will go straight back to the standby screen. At any point, if you want to end the application completely, all you have to do is go to your home page and then press options. At the bottom you've got log out. You've also got how long you would like it to be before it refreshes again. Whether you want T9 as in the predictive text turned on or off, the language you would like it in. You can also select whether to show it in standby or not. You can set it to vibrate anytime there's a notification comes through. And then you've got mode which is advanced or standard. So you can have the advanced mode which is this one here or the standard which is almost like a web based version or you can simply log out. When you press log out it will then automatically be set to remember you. If you don't want that you can hit on mark. If you do you just hit yes. Thanks very much for watching and look out for some more iNo clips.